how to rank your website on google hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can rank your website on google so having said that let's just jump into the video now before i do that there are a couple of factors that you need to understand before you begin with your ranking or seo right first things is that how google ranks its websites are through a number of things and first things first is your website speed all right so it's a major factor that your website depends on your speed so how you can find out your speed is if you come over here onto this website called gt metrics over here this website will analyze how fast your website is and it will figure out what you need to do and how you can make it faster right so let me just copy my url over here i'll just simply copy the name of my website and i'll just simply paste it over here and then if i click on test your website it's going to analyze it over here as you can see it's adding to the queue right now its testing server is in vancouver canada so right now it's testing over there and seeing how fast it is so in a couple of minutes it's going to show me how fast my website is so i'm just simply going to pause this video right here i'll catch you guys in a second all right so over here as you can see my latest performance is a great which means that my website is very fast 99 percent performance 94 percent you know structure 888 milliseconds for the largest craftful paint which is you know pretty amazing so a good website you know depends on at least three seconds so your website should load fully in less than three seconds and if not it won't be good so as you can see currently i'm at 1.2 seconds but that's also because my website so as you can see over here this is my website nothing too major over here it's just a standard template nothing too crazy that's basically what it is right nothing too crazy over here that's why i have a higher score now for example yours might be different because you might have a lot of things so for example if i were to just go ahead and edit this video out i would like you know put some images in it or maybe even a video then my score would drop a little bit so let me just actually do that i'm going to go ahead and go into the editor and i'm going to show you how much does it affect you know adding more images you're going to see i'm going to drop from my grade a to maybe even a b from 1.2 seconds to maybe even two seconds you're going to see right here so okay so now that it's loaded let me just go ahead and click on an image and let me just put the images down over here at the bottom you know do a lot of things i'll just put the section over here i'll just put two images over here so i'll click over here and i'm going to drag the image right over here and i'm going to choose an image right so free images over here i'm going to go ahead and choose let's say a call person maybe like a businessman because that would look pretty cool on my website all right so over here i'll just put um let's see this would look cool but this is in a portrait mode i don't want that i'll just put this image right here i'm going to click on insert here we go now i'm just simply going to go ahead and put like a video over here as well so you're going to see how much does it affect it so over here this is the video i'm going to change I'm going to go over to youtube real quick and i'm going to pick out maybe like a 30 second video like a promo or something like that all right so over here we have this one it's about a minute it's a little bit longer but actually this one looks good this is 44 seconds yeah we're going to do this one Just simply going to copy the link go back over here into the editor and i'm going to paste the link over here and i'm going to click on update all right here we go now that the video has been updated and i'll click on autoplay as well update the site now i'll just exit the editor all right so now i'm on my website and over here if i scroll down you will see the image in a video now if i again copy the link and i come back over here go back to the go back to the gt metrics and i paste the url and i just simply click on test your site now i'm gonna just simply gonna wait for the results all right so now as you can see it's still in a grade and 99 percent performance but as you can see speed of visualization it dropped from 1.2 seconds all the way down to 3.5 seconds because it took too long to load so if i come over here it's going to show me how long did it take so over here it took me over here this much time to load the content over here and over here as you can see fully loaded in 3.5 seconds so as you can see it's quite a lot and really really needs some optimizations over here so now the easiest way to you know go ahead and optimize your website is by installing a plugin called let me just show you so if i come back over here onto the plugin store now that my website is loaded up click on add new over here it's going to take me over here to the plugin store and i just simply search for optimization over here over here as you can see this plugin right here called wp optimize it's going to optimize our website and it's going to substantially you know improve our performance rate over here now 
it's not a complete fix this is like a minimum fix like even if you like if you wanted to like boost your speed right so that's what it's going to do i'm going to show you how you can properly seo your website in a second real quick so i'm just giving you options over here so let's go ahead and install this plugin and activate it and you know optimize our website all right now that it's been added over here as you can see at the bottom it's going to say wp optimize what we're going to do is we're going to click on it and we'll go over to the dashboard for this you know plugin and i'm just simply going to run all selected optimization it's going to optimize every single thing it's going to take a little bit of time so what we're going to do is i'm just simply going to go ahead and pause this video right now and i'll catch you guys in a second all right so once that is done as you can see everything is looks good next we'll go into images and over here we'll just you know click on over here we'll just select all the images and we'll click on compress the selected images and over here it's going to start compressing all of the images and it's going to you know save us quite a lot of time so let's just wait for it to finish continue on all right so now all of our images have been compressed we'll just scale this back over here uh, or maybe we'll just click on prioritize maximum you know compression we'll click over here and it's going to save as well and we are good to go right now if we you know check off for our websites you know performance will go over here onto gt metrics i'll just simply run it again and hopefully this time it will be a much more improvement over here so again i'm going to pause this video right here and catch you guys in a second okay so as you can see now the contentful pain has decreased and also the time has decreased as well so i run the system and it was at 3.7 instead of decreasing time it was it increased as well so i had to do the compression again off the screen but now as you can see it's now at 3.5 percent so as you can see it did affect it and we are good to go right now you can even further decrease it to at least three seconds if you just you know remove some of the images over here so as you can see down below we have the javascript it's taken most of the time to load and then we have others and then we have images fonts and css and then at the bottom we have html so over here as you can see now it took the largest time to load but we are good to go we can improve that if you just you know go with the more with the premium version of this product but we are good to go now what we'll do is we'll go into add new plugin now we'll actually go ahead and try to seo it right so the most popular so the most popular uh, seo plugin is called yoast seo so this is one of the best ones out there and it really really works so over here what you'll do is just simply install this plugin and it's going to allow you to actually go into your website like deep dive into your website and add permalinks add tags and stuff like that so that it can rise up onto google so now we just activate this plugin and we have it over here now we just simply go into the settings of the yoast seo and over here this is the dashboard right now if we click on start seo data optimization we click on this one it's going to go ahead and take us over here where we can begin so as you can see it's optimizing the seo database it's going to take some time so let's wait all right so now it has optimized it well now we are good to go so now what we'll do is we'll also go again go back to the dashboard and over here what we want to do is we'll click over here first time configuration and over here we'll just simply click on continue and now it's going to add a site representation so what does your site represent an organization or a purpose so we'll just say it's an organization and over here we have to enter in the organization name so we'll call it vinho all right because that's his channel name and then we add in the optimization logo that we have for our you know website but if we don't we'll just simply click on continue right then we have social profiles over here we add in let's say our twitter or you know facebook we'll add a youtube channel over here as you can see all right so i added the youtube profile i don't have an instagram or facebook so we'll just continue with youtube so we'll just simply click on continue and then we have personal preferences so over here yoast seo using tracking so if you want you can let you know yoast seo track your data so that it can improve later on but if you don't want to you can go ahead and select no and don't ask and then just simply click on continue and then you are good to go then you just simply click on go to your dashboard and you are good to go right so what you'll basically need to do is you'll need to have like a premium version for this so you're going to need a more premium version of it so that you can go you know strictly deep dive into it so that you can have an even better you know optimization tools as well so over here we have features 
we have webmasters over here so basically over here you enter in some of the uh, verification code that you get but you are good to go right so over here all right now we'll just go back to the dashboard and now we just simply click on go to your plugins overview to enable auto update for this one but we'll do that later but mostly i think that we are done but mostly we are done but if you were to get the premium version of it you'll have even better options to you know seo then you will get full access over here so that you can you know get a more internal depth where you just simply have to add some permalinks to your pages to your website and you are good to go so let's again check our performance over here maybe let's do a retest of it and see how it looks so now as you can see it did decrease but only for a little bit you know 3.4 seconds but everything else looks pretty good as you can see performance wise i've improved structure wise as well and even the largest you know contentful paint it also dropped so as you can see it actually works but if you're gonna you know want to properly do seo then of course you're gonna need a premium version for this one so that you can actually deep dive into it so then you will have you know rank better with synonyms and related key phrases. then you will have option to do you know keywords you will have you know preview page for your twitter and instagram page and get real-time suggestions and links and you can add them to your permalinks as i said before and you'll be good to go so that's it for this video this was a pretty beginners friendly video i mean i didn't deep dive into it but if you want me to deep dive into it let me know it and i will probably help you but if you really want me to deep dive into it then let me know i will do so as i said so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye